Right now, those were a recap of your headlines, perhaps the last for Weekend Dawn, yeah, uh, before the end of the show. But uh, continuing with our Weekend Dawn review, this next insert is brought to you by Harambe Med, the African distributors of the copper mask. Now, while the world continues to battle with the COVID-19 pandemic, the discovery of an effective vaccine seems close and yet so far. In the meantime, it's important for people to stick to the ABC precautionary measures. And medical experts and the World Health Organization have stressed that masks should be used as a part of a comprehensive uh, do-it-all approach, which includes physical distancing, avoiding crowds, uh, closed and close contact uh, settings, improving ventilation, cleaning hands, covering sneezes and coughs, and of course so much more. But while there have often been questions about the effective of different kinds of masks, Harambe Medical Distribution has sourced the copper oxide antiviral face mask, or it's simply called the copper in face mask for the African market. It is deemed the safest mask in the world with 99% bacterial filtration efficiency. It can be reused and the copper-based viral deactivator non-woven material provides a unique prevention and virus extens extensive uh, reduction using copper oxide layers. The patented material used in the mask, mask was tested in laboratories around the world and COVID-19 materials science research funded by the U.S. Department of Health. It is proven to eliminate the virus SARS-CoV-2 in just one minute. The oxide antiviral mask is an alternative to the cloth face mask. It's both good for the environment and extra safe to use. The mask is self-cleansing of any bacteria and viruses. You will only need to clean the mask if you have makeup on it. Recent medical studies have shown that the copper inside the mask eliminates COVID within one minute on contact with the mask's surface. Right, on the back of that, to help us uh, understand a little bit better the benefits of this mask and how it could help us, we are joined by microbiologist Dr. Budzani Chiseve. A very good morning to you, doctor. Thank you very much for joining us here on Weekend Dawn. I mean, just listening to that insert, I am quite excited. I mean, obviously, it, it, it uh, looks at the innovation, the reimagining that has had to go in uh, during this COVID-19 pandemic and, and also as we navigate this new normal. So on the back of that, I mean, is it true that this copper oxide mask ultimately can eliminate COVID-19 within one minute of coming into contact with it? Uh, thank you for having me, Lizelle. Um, yes, um, studies have shown that uh, copper incorporated face masks um, are able to eliminate 99.9% mm. uh, of SARS-CoV-2 uh, virus, as you have mentioned earlier on. And this is the virus that um, is responsible for COVID-19. Mm. And uh, there are many studies that have also looked at this and diff using different formulations of copper uh, that have confirmed uh, that uh, these masks with copper is not only eliminating bacteria, fungi, and other viruses that we have known for a while, but also the severe acute respiratory syndrome coronavirus 2 that we are dealing with currently. All right, so, so for those of us who are not in the medical field, I mean, how does it ultimately achieve that? I mean, how does copper then eliminate this COVID-19 virus? Um, upon contact uh, with the virus, copper releases uh, what we call free radicals. Okay. These are toxic uh, to the virus. They cause damage to the virus and uh, interfere with mechanisms that are necessary for the survival of the virus. All right. I'm um, just looking at the uh, benefits, you know, that many people have also been questioning about the various kinds of masks and how this copper mask has then come out to be 99.9% .9 effective. Uh, how so? Yeah, I mean, this is a self-sanitizing uh, mask, uh, meaning that, uh, you know, we are less likely to contaminate our surroundings uh, with a live virus mm. and also uh, less likely to infect ourselves. Um, because uh, upon contact with the mask, the virus is killed immediately. All right. So, so then how does it perhaps differ from the uh, previous non-surgical masks that uh, obviously we've been using and some of the material masks as well? Yeah, those masks that we've been using of the normal um, surgical masks, uh, they do not have antimicrobial properties 
So what they do is to block the virus uh, from <coughs> reaching our mucous membrane, uh, the mouth and the nose. Mm -hmm. And that's where it ends. And that is not um, all that we need at this stage. Uh, because of a lot of things that you know um, uh, we have seen around the world where people have become too fatigued. Mm, I think just before we continue these, uh, this conversation, Doctor, let's take a look at a testimonial video of some who have obviously undergone and used this mask. Take a look. There's the benefit of the copper oxide molecules in the mask. The copper oxide will make sure that it defends against any antibacterial antiviral properties and will kill the, the pathogen if it comes into contact with it. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm getting excited as I'm, as I'm finding out more about this from you, doctor. And I want to now look at the feasibility of it. You know, many people are wondering how, if it's reusable. And if so, I mean, how often can one reuse this uh, mask going forward? It's obviously going to save on costs. And uh, also just, uh, you know, it's, it, it's going to be easier for us to carry one mask as opposed to having to make sure we've got multiple masks all around you know as we navigate this new normal um Lisa, the good news here is that uh, this mask um, is made of non-woven polypropylene yeah. uh, material um, that can be washed even in high temperatures up to 125 degrees celsius without disintegrating meaning that we can reuse it the copper incorporated um, remains active for the entire lifetime of the mask. Mm. So I'm just looking at the reports that have come through now. I mean, we um, there have been reports about a second, uh, you know, COVID-19 resurgent wave coming. December's approaching. The borders have opened. So the risks seem to be increasing. But when we look at this mask as a possibility for the frontline workers, do you think it's ultimately going to become a prerequisite then? Um, you know, this has been a very long and challenging year for all of us. Yeah. And uh, some of us are fatigued. And we are no longer following public health intervention recommended. Uh, you just move around the street, you see people without their masks, or those who are wearing them, not wearing them properly. I mean, some are using them as chin guards. Yes. Um, and we tend to fiddle a lot uh, with this uh, virus-infested mask uh, with inadequate hand hygiene. And this increased the risk of auto infection and cross contamination, both of which uh, can potentially contribute to virus transmission and second wave. Mm. Uh, but with copper incorporated face mask, the virus is killed upon contact with the mask, reducing the risk of uh, viral transmission. It must be emphasized um, that these copper incorporated face masks are not there to replace the interventions that are already in place. Mm. All these public health intervention that we have adopted for a while, they need to be uh, re-emphasized. These masks are just an addition to the armamentarium that we have had for a while. Mm, I'm, I'm also then just looking at the practicality in terms of wearing it because you, you alluded to how, you know, it's become a chin guard for many people. <laughs> many people have experienced skin rashes and discomfort. I think just before we get into that, let's just take another look at another testimonial coming through before we continue that discussion. In terms of comfort, uh, this mask is very comfortable. The material is soft. It's easy to breathe in and it's easy to keep on we just love it right so on the back of that i mean walk us through what it feels like to wear that mask i, I haven't really felt with the material but how comfortable is it and again alluding to some of the issues that people have experienced including skin rashes and and discomfort at large how have you mitigated against some of those challenges yeah, I mean, this is a very light uh, mask mm. and is as comfortable as any comfortable mask out there. Um, and uh, there have not been any reports of, um, you know, skin reaction um, or worsening of skin reactions for those uh, who may have had with other masks. And people who have had other skin conditions have not reported any uh, worsening of those conditions. Mm. So it's a relatively safe uh, mask. Um, you know, for everyone, irrespective of whether they have got pre-existing uh, skin conditions. All right. So you mentioned everyone. Now I want to know: Is this going to be accessible for everyone, or will only doctors be allowed to use it? What is that roll like going to look like? Um, this is a mask uh, that anyone can wear. Okay. Um, but it's important to know that. Uh, 
um, during times of uh, widespread uh, st stock shortages, mm. um, we may have uh, to have this mask and related masks um, reserved only for the frontline healthcare workers, like we have done before. Mm. Um, but as, as it is, um, this is a mask that anyone can use. All right, so when you say everyone can use, the other question that people want to know is how much does it cost? How affordable is it and, and where will it be stuck? What do those dynamics look like? Um, this and uh, more information uh, is available at harambeme.com. Okay. Um, but the thing is, um, you know, it's important to keep in mind that uh, um, our lives are much more valuable. And what I do uh, determines um, whether you are going to be safe or not. Yes. And we just have to keep that in mind, um, you know, in the whole process. Uh, yes, we must be cost conscious, uh, but we must also put our lives first. Mm. Now, Dr. Um, Budzani, I want to conclude this conversation by just going back to the, the comfort of it. I mean, people who wear glasses seem to be suffering the most during this. It's, um, I'm, I'm trying to understand with the materials that have been used and, and just the offering through this uh, latest mask. I mean, how, how, how are they going to benefit from this? Yeah, I mean, this uh, mask, um, it's um, easy to breathe in, mm. you know, it's breathable, the material um, in such a way that, um, you know, you don't get a, a lot of accumulation of uh, moisture as we talk um, or breathe, um, you know, but unfortunately, um, you know, just like with any other mask, um, it also depends on how the wearer wears it. Mm. And, you know, they are easy to wear instructions that are provided on the package. And um, I would urge anyone uh, for, for, with any mask for that matter um, to follow those uh, instructions um, because they will make it easy for them. Everyone will feel comfortable wearing this mask irrespective of whether they have got um, uh, glasses or not. All right. So if people want to get in touch, find out more, as you alluded to earlier on, can you just give us those details once again, perhaps contacting you or Harambi Med at large? Where people can get more information is at harambemed.com. All right, Dr. Budzani Chiseve, thank you very much for joining us here on Weekend Dawn, ultimately adding a glimmer of hope during these unprecedented times. Also, as we uh, spoke about in innovation and reimagining this new normal, um, congratulations to you and your team for this latest offering. And uh, perhaps it will, you know, continue to aid us in the fight against this global pandemic um, and perhaps uh, what we can expect for the December holidays as uh, talks of that resurgence comes about. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you for having me. Now that 